Greetings, Dovahkiin, and welcome back. So, Boda has a full set of this Immaculate Dwarven armor. We could go right into that tunnel, the radiation tunnel, but... You there? Where did you come from? Oh, yeah, we, we, we reset. Oh, uh, I just arrived. Strange. Let's just go through this real quick. It looks like you just came out. It's a just what? lie. Seriously? It's the <laughs> first day of... I guess... Yep, Look, yep. You s don't hurt. The Jarl can tell you more. No, I'll make my own way. Yes, sir. And if you have any questions okay. about this place... Let me go ahead and talk to the Jarl real quick. Stone. Make sure we get everything rolling. Talk to Brawl, the scholar, to find out more about the city. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, Brawl uh, wanted to know uh, if we found anything in the palace, right? Okay, so let's go talk to the Jarl, talk to Brawl, and... I'm gonna save that uh, the radiation tunnel for last. We can talk. I want to find. Be quick, Domitus could be back any second. Sorry, I don't want to talk right now. Um, yeah, I want to find um, uh, what's his name's uh, treasure first, and also uh, investigate the mystery of the crying woman or the ghost, whatever. Something's haunting the citadel at night. All right, so let's get to the AR real quick. And hey, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. My city. I'm about to. Okay, here's your welcome to this, uh, welcome this to the city kits. Don't break the laws. Someone's breaking laws. Who broke the laws? I broke the laws. Why? What did you do? Oh. Here's an option I could do. I was carrying your instructions. I shouldn't have listened to you, bastard. I see. Well, it seems. But you must persist. Okay, I he takes no responsibility do. whatsoever. No. What do you mean, no? Don't you realize you're in just as much danger as oh. the rest of us? Look, don't think you're getting out of here alive without my help. I expect you'll come around to my way of thinking once you realize that. Now get out of my citadel and come back once you're willing to see sense. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a different option. I sort of breeze through that, but yeah. All right, so Brawl, wh wh where does he live? Oh, he's just right here. Right down there. Let's go! Huh. This is his house, yes. A little too high, sorry about it. I wonder if he's home. Could be out and about. Brawl! You're not Brawl, who are you? No. Hello there. Hey, Gaia. Seems like every time I turn around, you're right there. Maybe... Oh, there he is. Hello, neighbor. Would you like to hear about my research? I know about your research. Hey, I found a way to the palace. Brilliant. What did you find in there? Cool, we're picking up where we left off. That's really cool. It was overrun by undead, resurrected by Nardibus. He's dead. How terrible. But not unexpected. Nardibus was a reckless fellow. But did you discover something about the Dwarves Law? Some relic or text? Yeah, I found this speech about the Dwarves Law surrounded by burnt corpses. Oh yeah, that cult or the cultish like atmosphere that was going on in there. Let me see it. That is disturbing. This Doratus fellow set out to disprove the existence of the Dwarves Law and instead triggered some kind of mass execution. So the Dwarves Law is real. And can be triggered simply by striking another person. I take no pleasure in being vindicated in relation to this. But there's something else that troubles me. If the Dwarf's Law is still being enforced, does that not suggest the existence of some kind of judge? Precisely. And this judge, who watches over us, must be somewhere inside the city. I need you to find whoever, or whatever it is. And when you do... Well, I'm not going to say it out loud, but do whatever you need to do for yourself and for us all. Hey, we're all adults here. Don't worry, I will give him a hug. Farewell. Come back if you think okay, of any questions. Okay, so, you know what? I want to talk to Rikus. See what he says when I'm in, like, in a full suit of armor. <laughs> He'll be so jealous. Um, He's probably up here training, right? This time of day? Yeah, yeah, no, wait, but do, do up here. Yeah, there he is. I see him. Swinging away. Never gonna be able to use that axe. Poor bastard. I wonder if he's any good at fighting, though. Huh. Wait. Are you wearing? Yeah. Strange. 
You're wearing the same armor as me. I mean, it's exactly the same. Oh, it's not. I got a complete set. <laughs> ah, nothing new. Bye. Okay, so, we, you know, we still haven't found old dude's uh, wife in the tunnels. Yeah. I'm tired of those tunnels. Couldn't find anything. I could have swore I searched every nook and cranny. Found some bones and loose change, potions, blood, but no evidence of the wife, really. Unless those bones were the wife, but there's no way for me to know, right? What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's go talk to the homeless guy again. Talk to him about the treasure. And see if we can find the treasure. Yeah, he's over there. He's over by his tent in his cave. I have a feeling... I never did search the water. I think I commented to someone like, Yeah, there's probably nothing in the water. But everything's in the water, probably. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see. Hey, Dooley! Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, nothing new here. Alright, I guess we need to know. Alright, from bye, what bye. I remember... His brother said somewhere something about holding your breath and underground. Well, we're underground. Um, I was like holding breath. At first, I thought maybe that radiation tunnel, but honestly, oh. it's probably the water. Hello. All right, let's go search obvious like uh, looking things like this thing here. What is this? It's a submerged what looks like to be a tower. Oh yeah, but it could breathe underwater. We don't have to hold our breaths. We have no breath. Oh yeah, this is probably it. This has got to be it. It's a door underwater. Uh, Lydia and Indigo are probably gonna wait on shore. That's cool. Sunken house. Was I drowning? Oh, I'm not wearing my helmet. Hold on. Boda, hold your breath. Um, Boda is, uh, baby, dip. uh, where is it? Swim underwater. Yeah, here we go. Swim underwater without drowning. Oh, so much better. Yeah, Indigo and uh, Lydia's not following me. That's fine. It's a to pick, and I'll need the key. Didn't Dooley give me a key? Do I gotta get the key again? He gave me a rusty key, I thought. Huh. Dooley! Give me the key, man. So I guess whenever we reset, we lose our keys? Well, that's a relief, or else I'd have so many keys to my house. Or, or my chambers, whatever. Alright, oh. let's go through this again. What's your story? My what? I am... Um... Yeah, he looked I after you. Nobody looks after I, you, poor I'm guy. Not very good at remembering yeah, I'll find this treasure. What are you looking for? Oh, oh. Harobel said I should only tell someone I trust. Only someone I know. Not you. Oh no, do I gotta I reset all this? Know you yet. Do I? I don't reset mm, this. Uh, Maybe no, I gotta go talk to Jeshul. She yet. was gonna leave him in the house. Maybe she's not like, yet. oh, poor Dolly. Please check him out for me. Uh, I know she walks around town. I know where she lives. I know where she dies. I don't see her walking around. She's probably home. Um, her home is one of these down here. No, I think it was up there. Yeah, let's go up. So much running around. I'm getting excited. I feel some real momentum with this mod now, man. I think we're going to see some cool stuff this episode, guys. I hope so. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, these, these are the block of houses. Mine's in the middle. That's Brawl's house. That's my house. Whose house is this? That's Luki's house. So, her house is one of the places that's close to the palace here. Was well, it this one? I could look at the map. You could look at the map, you know. I don't want to look at the map. Here it is. Be here, lady. Where is she, Lydia? Alright, I'll cut to when I find her. It also occurred to me, maybe I have to, um, get in good with the Jarl or something. There she is. Jeshul! Oh, hello there, dear. New in town? Oh, man, I hope she can... Oh, my. It's very nice of you to take an interest in... Really? Let's just go through this real quick. Cleanliness is next to godliness. There we go. So they say. I think this is it right it's here. It's not very inspiring, as you can imagine. But the alternative is to wind up like poor... Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll... I feel sorry for him. I think most... The Jarl decided because he yeah, can't we've, work, we've read all this. he doesn't deserve to live in a house. But intent. don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. 
Well, anyway, that's about all there is about me to tell, I'm afraid. Alright, I'll be I'm... going now. Oh, well, goodbye. And I'm gonna talk to the Jarl. Just in case I have to have him on my side in order to get the dually thing. Um, is he in his room? Outside. Nope, he's right there. Alright, Jarl. Gotta talk. Now, where were we? You asked if I'd help save the city. Ah, yes. That's right. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses now? I don't like this guy, man. This guy reeks of stuff. Yes, I'll help you. Thank you. Now, if it helps you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye for now. Okay. And good luck. Now let's go talk I to Dooley again. Tell you what We're gonna fly all the way to Dooley. This should impress him. I mean, this is impressive. I'm in a, like a shiny gold suit. And I'm flying. All right, Dooley. Dooley? Oh, he's right there. Oh. Hello. Hello. All right, what's your story? By what? I, I, I'm not very good at okay. remembering. Okay. What are you looking for? Here oh, we go. Horrible. Oh no. Said I should only tell someone I trust, only someone I know, not you. I don't know you yet. Oh no! How do, do I, I get this mm, set again? No. no Okay, so I just killed those bandits again, the, the the looters, I guess. So let's see if that's enough to trigger Dooley to trust me. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I'm kind of retracing my steps a little bit. Before he okay. Died, that he had left Here we go. Okay, so I just had to do something. In a secret chest. He hid it away just for me. Yeah. I asked the others for help. Here, do you... Do you think you could read it for me? All right, here we go. So you had to do like a good deed, complete one of the things there. All right, so let's read the Jarl's note again. Okay, here it is. Letter from Jarl to Dooley. Okay, we already read this. Saying the treasure's uh, fake. Forget about your brother. Well, what does it say? All right, here we go. I read your letter. You did? Oh, thank you. What does it say? All right, the Jarl says there's no fortune. You should stop going about it. I... what? You'll help me, Of won't course you? I'll help you, my friend. You'll help I believe you. I'll help you look for it. Thank you. All I know is that it's hiding somewhere in the city. And you leave this rusty key. My brother gave it to me to unlock it. Yeah, vanishing keys every time you reset. Okay, did, the, uh, did uh, your brother tell you anything uh, about where it's hidden? I... I... <laughs> Come on. I don't remember things so Underground. Hold my breath. He said it was hidden under the ground. Yeah, it's got to be this over I here. All right, Dolly. I'll check it out for you, friend. Okay. I already got my water breathing hood on. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. Okay. And they didn't follow me again. Okay, come on, Key. You better work. Yes. Haha! <laughs> Progress! Ah, oh, bloody hell. Ooh. You know, I'm glad I got my water breathing hood. Uh, I also could cast water breathing, so not a big deal. Yeah, Lydia and uh, Indigo definitely did not follow me. Oh no, is that his brother? Should I take the skull? As proof? Hello? Okay, we got some more underwater structures here. Swim up. Looking around. Thought I saw a shadow. I'm hearing the Jaws theme song in my head. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem to be any... Oh. Okay. Nope. Just some new stove okay. I came in from over here somewhere. Uh, there's also shelves. I should probably look at these shelves. All kinds of dwarven. Oh, another body. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better. Maybe it isn't Dooley's brother. Okay, that's where we came in. Alright, so we searched up a bottom. Searched these shelves. Ah, it comes up over here. This is awesome, man. This feels like an adventure. Looking for treasure. There's fish. Salmon. Yes, salmon is everywhere. There's an abundance of salmon in Skyrim. Alright. Okay, so what are we gonna find here? A fishing pole. 
Is someone live? Oh, maybe his brother's alive. Maybe we'll find his brother. That looks like an enemy. Someone is gonna hurt me. Let's approach. Cause I don't want to accidentally murder somebody and trigger the dwarves' law. Hello. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? I'm Boda. I'm looking for a, for a treasure chest. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? I got a bad feeling about this. Dinner? Does she mean me? Am I dinner? Um, you're obviously planning to eat me. Try it, I dare you. All right, lead the way. Very good. If they attack me, me first, I can kill them. They seem like they're going to be a problem. Going to get in the way of me and my treasure. Ooh. Got to dig. I'll be with you in a second, uh, cannibal uh, Argonian. Is it cannibalism if an Argonian needs a dark elf? I don't know. <laughs> I guess technically if we could procreate, it'd be cannibalism. Yeah, bloody bones. I think this is the only person down here. Nope, someone else over there. I don't have any protection. Can you smell that? Yeah, I knew it. This? Something dinner comes to us. You yes. dodge, bitch. Dinner show. <laughs> Oh, fire! Oh, I'm a, I'm a dark elf. What am I? It oh, God! Delicious. Don't hit me! It hurts us. It hurts bad, doesn't we it? Must. We You're just dead. Okay, so it. since they attacked me, Dwarves Law didn't get triggered. Oh, power attack. It smells delicious. She staggered me. Oh, she's burning. My sisters, help me. Sisters? There's more? There's at least one more. Uh, what you got? A lonely tower key. Thanks for the key, lady. And a dagger that I keep looting and can't display. Wow, full sets of dwarven for everyone, man. It's like standard issue down here. That must be the tower she was talking about. That's the way up. This person's stuck on a rock. Gotta keep looking around. Gotta see what else is here. Epicurious. Ah smells delicious. You don't bring fist to a sword fight. <laughs> Uh. My sisters, help me. Your sisters are dead. They're dead. Wipe your face. You've got blood on it. Okay. Now that we got the rabble subdued, look around. Okay, there isn't much here. Okay. Let's go into the tower and get our treasure. I want you to bet Dooley's brother's in this tower. Is he the treasure? Dooley's brother was treasure, the treasure all along. Master Lock. Oh, I guess I'm picking it. I totally did that without thinking about the dwarves' law. Um, everything seems to be okay. I don't see any dwarves or anything down here. Maybe they can't see down here. Mushrooms way down. Do the tunnels connect to down here? Horrible's chest! What do we got? A citadel key. And a letter. A letter from Horrible to Dooley. Let's read this letter. Letter from Horrible to Dooley. Find a way into the lock room in the citadel. Dear Dooley, if you're reading this or having someone you trust read it to you, it means I'm dead. Oh no. I'm sorry I won't be able to look after you anymore. I want you to try really hard to remember something important. Your Miletus cannot be trusted. Whoa. Yeah, we knew that. After leaving you this note, I am going to confront him about what he has been doing in the locked room in the Citadel. Is that that room? The bathhouse? If I do not return, it is probably because he killed me. With this note, you will find a key to the Jarl's locked room. You will have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You are always a better judge of character than me. They'll know what to do. Oh, Dooley's not going to be happy. Who's that? Ah! Lydia. She found me. No, I'm okay. She sensed I was in danger. Okay, so just a little... Boda likes gold. He can't help it. What's my carry weight? Still good. 
Um, question is, if I tell Dooley, will he go after Daryl and trigger the dwarves law? And will I have to do all this again? I gotta let the man know about his bro- wait a minute. Maybe his brother is in a locked room. Yeah, he could be in a locked room, so let's do that first. Let's go to the locked room. And if his brother's th wait a minute, if his brother's there, then maybe he'll attack the Jarl and sh Ah, so much to think about. Okay, we're gonna go into the locked room first. Yeah, we're gonna go in the locked room first, and then see what's in there and go from there. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, it's nighttime. Everybody's gonna be asleep. Well, it's only 7.30. Everybody's going to be at the tavern getting drunk because that's all there is to do. Drink a potato liquor. I guess vodka. Okay. There's Lydia. Where's Indigo? I'm going to summon Indigo just in case. There he is. Have me word there for a second there, pal. I'm getting excited. Hey, is that armor what I think it is? Yes, it is. Miranda told me you cut down those looters before they breached the city gates. Yeah, that was me. Well done, my I'm friend. a hero. Well done. Okay, so the Jarl's got some dark secrets, huh? He's got to be the cause of all this. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that locked room was on the very top floor, so let's get to that locked room. I'm so curious. Curious to see. I bet you that locked room has something to do with the, the ghost that's haunting this place, too. Like a crying woman. He's probably keeping like a bunch of prisoners up there, man. So Dooley's brother, some crying woman. Who knows what else we're gonna find here? Maybe some treasure, maybe some goodies, maybe some displayables. Okay, here we are. Yep, sure did. It sure opened it. Got two ways here. A chest that if I pick, it'll trigger. Let me see what's on this balcony, since it's kind of like partitioned off from all the others. Seats. Don't push me, Inigo. Okay. Nothing out here. Okay, just got this one door. What will we see behind this door? So, so curious, as curious as Khajiit. Crap. I don't have any options other than auto picket. I guess picking locks doesn't technically break the Dwarves' Law. Okay, I see a woman over there. I don't see Dooley's brother. He must really be dead. Should I tell Dooley? Find a way into the locker room. Accuse Melitus of being the threat. Melitus, you are the threat! Who are you? Oh, gods. Not again. That name sounds familiar. Please don't hurt me. Maisie. I'm not gonna hurt you, lady. Thank the gods. Quickly, you have to oh. let me down before that monster comes back. That's why I couldn't find her in tunnels. She was locked up here. I have some questions first. No, I'll release her. Thank you. He'll be here any moment, so be quiet and follow. Wait! My lead. No, don't kill him. You're gonna trigger the dwarf's law, lady. Crap. Oh no, she disappeared. Where'd you go? This person is busy with- oh no. Don't do it! What's going on in there? There you are, oh, you crap. filthy pig. Damn it, am I gonna have to redo everything? What? No! <laughs> Red Melitus! Why are you running from a naked woman? Please, Macy, be reasonable. If you attack me in here, you'll break the dwarf's law and kill us all! Maybe she's an expert at jujitsu? Why is he so terrified of her? After what oh. you've done to me, I just don't care. It looks like a what? Son of a bitch! Wait a minute, this is different. Complete it. Find a way back to your original timeline. Talk to Altrius. Did we finish the game? Hi there. You gave me a bit of a fright. I thought I was in here alone. Yaltris, your sister asked me to come and find you. Well, that's a relief. Say, I didn't catch your name. I'm so confused. So, 
Wait a minute, maybe Melitus, you just had to kill Melitus to finish his mod? Then what was in the radiation tunnel? What's going on? I'm gonna reload a save and check that out. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old journal I found here. It was burnt, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. What did it say? It described an event about seven years ago. Seven years someone ago, with okay. Someone your name appeared in the city out of the lake house. Led some kind of uprising against a tyrannical Jarl, breaking an ancient law, and triggering some kind of catastrophe. Oh, so the Dwarf's Law it did said trigger. most of the city folk were evacuated. Oh. And the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. How'd they get out? How were they evacuated? I need answers. Enough talk, are you ready to get out? <laughs> Actually, that was me. I... I'm not sure I understand. When I first arrived here, you know what? No, let's let's go through this. When I first arrived here, I found your corpse hanging from a tree. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Come again. That's right. I still have your suicide note here. Um. Let me see that. Gods. This is my handwriting. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. This is, this is horrible. But I, I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I... I'm not sure I understand. When I killed the... I didn't kill the Jarl. I stopped him from opening his time portal. So, you're saying... Because you stopped a time portal from being opened... I never went through it. And that's why I don't remember any of this. You know, it never occurred, occurred to me to try to kill the Jarl. <laughs> now you're getting it. I guess you saved my life then. And freed most of the people in the process. I suppose I should thank you. Even though I don't remember anything. It's just... I don't mean to sound ungrateful. But it seems a shame the city had to be destroyed. Imagine if this place could have been saved. Been with threes. Enough talk! Are you ready to get out of here? I've been ready to get out of here from the moment I set foot in this place. I think we can escape through a crack in the bathroom wall. Okay, jump into conclusions here. I don't know how we know this. Great. Lead the way. So the bathroom was the way out. Alright, I'm going to save here. And, uh... I want to see what's in the radiation tunnel. And I want to tell Dooley about his brother, man. Need closure for a lot of things. Alright. Alright, so I went through all that... Because I, I wasn't um, fastidious with uh, my saves. Is that the right word? I don't know. Maybe I'm waking stuff up. But I went uh, went through the treasure of the looking for looking went through the trouble of looking for his treasure again, and now I'm gonna tell Dooley what's going on. I'm gonna save here because I have a feeling he's gonna go after the all. Oh, hello. About your fortune? Yes. What about it? I found your brother's chest. You did? What was in it? A warning to not trust you on the key to his locked room. A key? Harrop left me a key. I'm confused. It was supposed to be something valuable, but it's just a key. What do we do with the key? I'm gonna see what the Earl's hiding in his locked room. Oh, all right. Maybe there's a treasure in there. A big pile of gold coins and gemstones. Maybe you could even share some of it with me. I'm oh, sorry, Dooley, that's not what's in there. Okay, so we would have been led to the, um... That locked room anyway. Okay, this time... I kind of would just go into the radiation cave, but... Uh, I'm gonna talk to the lady chained up, not release her, like a cold-hearted psychopath, and then, then go talk, talk to the girl. Kind of curious to see what happens there. So let's get to that locked room. Talk to the lady. Oh, gods, not again! Please. Thank the gods! Quickly! You have to let me down before that monster comes back. Okay, we're not gonna release her. I have some questions first. I'm sorry, Maisie. Okay, but please hurry. Who are you? I'm Maisie. I lived down in the city with my husband, Ulrin, until a few months ago when that animal, Metallus, tricked me into coming here. He keeps me here as a... Oh, Gods, I can't. You have to let me down, please. I've never done anything to deserve this. 
Yeah, that guy's a monster. Isn't this against the dwarves? Yeah, is this against dwarves' law? Of course it is. But I think the dwarves are blind to whatever happens in this room. You can see the dwarven bust over there got broken somehow. When the act of breaking the bus be like, okay, whatever. Uh, if I let you go, what will you do? I'm going to kill yeah, we that, know that monster who calls himself Jarl. I'll scratch out his eyes with my bare hands if I have to. I'd go with biting his face off. All right, that's all the questions I got. So you'll let me go then? Uh, yeah, but not right now. What? Why not? If it gets out that Mr. Broken Door's Law, we're all going to die. Because there's nothing in it for me. All right, if it gets out, that the yeah. So you're just gonna leave me here? Just for the moment. If you want, I could put you out of your misery. No, no, I'll I, I'll have to look for another way to save you. Yeah. What? No, that's not. I. Please don't leave me here. Please, I'll do anything. Please don't leave oh, me. Oh God, this is heartbreaking. I'm sorry, Maisie. All right, let's go talk to the Earl. Oh yeah, he did break that, didn't he? Guess it was up there. Huh. Oh, that y'all. Lydia, in a go. Where, where are you guys? Oh, there they are. I just moved too fast for them. All right, let's go talk to the Jarl. I better save. This might be, uh... He might attack me or something. Okay, dirty bastard. Hello again, my friend. Any word about the matter we discussed? I cannot even talk to him about that? Could I ask you to... What? Of course. What do you want me? I need you to. You must. W As Jarl, I author. You're welcome. Now, was there something else? I know who is going to destroy the city. Well, I hope your investigation has been thorough. I don't want you accusing the first person you suspect. Oh, here we go. So, who is it? It was you all along. I know what's in your locked room. Something tells me this is what I was supposed to do. Hey, keep your voice down. Yeah. You want to get us all killed? Look. You might have noticed we're being watched by the dwarven statues everywhere you look. But I managed to break the bust in that room. So in there, there is no dwarves law. Understand? What happens in my private room stays there. Because if my little secret gets out, then you and everyone else in this place is going to suffer yeah, this badly. Guy's, this guy's what rotten. What you do next is up to you. You can keep your mouth shut, in which case we all live. Or you can let her go, in which case we all die. I could also tell the guy about his wife. You know what, give me some money. You've got to be joking. <laughs> what are you going to do? Start an uprising and get us all killed? I don't think you have the stomach for it. Well, you at least help me get out like you promised. I promised you no such thing. I said I'd do everything in my power to help you. But here's the thing. You have no power? There is oh. no way out of here. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. Now get out of my citadel. I'm bored of you. Failed. All right. You know what I got to do, right? This is for science. In your head. Hey, 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 hey. Stand still. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, so he can't reset the portal, right? So... Complete a final. Oh, this is different. Ah, no! Help me, Lydia! I'm coming! <laughs> Robot second foos. Get it, Lydia! It's coming after me! Am I even doing any damage? I don't think I am. Run! It's what's his face? I am not even hurting them. All right, well, Lydia and um, Indigo sort that out. Let's talk to this guy. Hi there. You gave me a bit of a fright. I thought I was in here alone. This is the same. Well, 
That's a relief. Say, I didn't catch your name. Yeah, this is the same uh, dialogue tree. All right, let's revert the save. Okay, so we know what happens if you attack Militus. Robots attack you and they can't die. Get out of my citadel. Yeah, yeah. I'm bored of you. Okay, just to cover all bases, let's go tell Oren about his wife. I want to see what he does. We know what he's going to do, but I want to see it. Okay, he's at home, but he's telling me to get out. I don't want to trigger the dwarf's law. Son of a bitch. Damn it, Oren. I know where your wife is. And he doesn't lock the door, so I can't knock. Ah, now I got to wait till daytime. Son of a all right, Oren, you you awake? You got you get your nights, you know, rest. You know who's not resting easy? Your wife. Hey, you're the one who killed all those bandits, aren't you? Yeah. Gods, what a nightmare that must have been. What do you want with me? All right, here we go. Metellus is keeping Macy prisoner in his locked room. What? Yep. You're serious, aren't you? Yep. That's it. I'm going to have a little <laughs> chat with that bastard. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Run fast, Oren! Your wife is waiting for you! Did I, did I mention she's naked and shackled to a wall? Metalist did it! Get him! Rip him from limb to limb! Bite his nose off! Do the worst things imaginable! So what, uh, you're afraid to go in, Oren? You, you don't want to? Okay, here he goes. Uh-oh, we lost him. He might already be doing the deed. Wait for me, I want to watch! I'm gonna miss it. We missed it. He said something about a cracked wall. There's a way out. He didn't even go save his wife first. And we're back! <laughs> Completed, forgive me not. Oh, we disappeared right here. Talk to Altrius, and I'm guessing that's gonna be the same dialogue tree. Alright, let's revert to save. There's Altrius. No! <laughs> Get out of my citadel. Okay, so I'm we have three different you. things. It's like multiple endings. Like, I don't know. Same ending. Alright, lady. All that's left is going to the radiation tunnel. See what happens. Okay, radiation suit check. Wait a minute. Is it Lydia and Indigo going to be okay? Maybe they'll get immunity by association. I want to make sure they're with me. Where's Indigo? Alright, Indigo will catch up. Let's go. I'm so excited to see what's in here, man. Some beasties, uh, some treasures, some collectibles and stuff. Alright, this is go. You guys gonna be okay? How long can you hold your breads? Put my bow out. You never know what we're gonna find down here. So excited. Okay, so it was safe until this point down here. Okay, there's some beasties. It's an anomaly. Magic anomaly. I keep missing because the hitbox is garbage. Get it, Indigo. I can't. I got it. Give me your stuff. Yeah, there's also a smelter here. Is there just like ore? There's gold. I don't know why I clicked on that. I'm sorry. I don't... I don't because I wanted to smelt my gold. Oh, I'm smelting my septums. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, that's directly underneath the, the, the grate that was in the tunnels. There's something else down here. And I can loot these chests. Amethyst. Look around. Don't want to miss a thing. Pretty dark down here. And we lost aggro of whatever was in here. Ooh, look at these. Gold ore. Mushrooms. Yeah, they're probably pretty poisonous. Uh oh. Magical anomalies! See, I missed these hitboxes, man. Get it, Lydia! <laughs> I can't hit it. I'm sorry. There we go. Left me with no choice. Yeah, this feels like it's the end, doesn't it? This feels like it's the end of the mod. More dwarven stuff. What's this glowing blue stuff? Yeah, I bet you that lead, that's the, the grate that was in the tunnel. So we looked right down on this. So the radiation, I guess, settles. It doesn't rise. What was that? 
Me missing. That's what it was. Got it that time. Ooh, how dramatic. No, apparently I missed. Missed again. I hate these things. It's like you gotta shoot them in the nose. Okay. And we're moving. And we're grooving. Discovering stuff. The great adventure of Boda. This is a... Am I just going in circles? No, it's going down. Ooh, another excavation point. More gold. Let's dig this. I can't dig it. I'm not in combat. Oh. The animation was bugged out. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Still nothing. Alright, so we're obviously going to this structure down here. Looks dwarven in nature. The dwarves law. Oh. It's a door. Dwarven dome, you guys ready? Yeah, looks like the radiation is not affecting them. Should have just sent Lydia down here. She could have solved this problem from the start. Sounds like a wisp mother. Interesting. Yeah, just saving. Ooh, look at this place. Ah, and here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dovahkiin. Ah, the Dwarven Judge, I presume. You know who I am. Of course he does. Of course. To me, your memories are an open tome. To begin with, I know you are the leader of the band of murderers called the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, that's me. What else do you know? Yeah, lucky guess. <laughs> and I know you are a brazen thief, compulsively stealing from your own kind, without remorse or restraint. Yeah. Is that all? I know you have feasted upon the flesh of your own kind. Oh, yeah, I was a werewolf. I was like, I did? Yeah, I guess I did. All right, you got me. <laughs> I also know you have come from the future. And why is that? Is your desire for power so great that you would break even the laws of time for it? No, this Kajini and Mindigo pushed me down a hole. no difference. You will not take it from me. You would not be so foolish as to break my law. Aren't you bored just floating there all day, all night in this dark, deep hole? Actually, I'm not interested in your power. I'm not, but... Well, let's just say, you mean the dwarf's law? I mean my law. I made it because your kind would be incapable of order, of peace, without it. Ah, I see. So that would me that would make you um that makes me the arbiter. I am also the founder. I discovered this site millennia ago and the deposit of Ethereum beneath us. I laid the foundations and I watched my children grow and learn and use the Ethereum to create marvels, technological wonders. But they grew quarrelsome and used their knowledge to create weapons to use against their own kind and worse, their own father. So I confiscated their weapons and declared my law that each and every one of my children would live in perfect order or they would not live at all. And here I am Millennia later, still waiting for children worthy of this city. And for my patience, it seems my reward is a visit from you, Dovahkiin. Hey, I'm quite the prize, you know. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? Well, first I have some questions. Um, did you build all the dwarven busts and all that? Did you contract that out? Did your past children do it? How'd you make them do it? I don't know. Actually, I have some questions. Yeah, enough talk. It's time to put an end. Matez's crimes have escaped your sight. 
That would kill everybody, wouldn't it? I have some questions. Ah, if only you could read my memories as I read yours. Very well. Ask your questions. But can't you just read my thought? Okay, I'll just ask. So you're the one killing all these people. You flock here, <laughs> you kind. Like moths to a flame. Driven by greed and the lust for power. Yeah, stay obvious there, Buddha. You are warned about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing death upon yourselves. So you ask if I am the one killing your kind. And I say no, you kill yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. Eh, potato, potato. How long have you been down here? I know you're bored. You probably got a stiff neck. Two thousand years in your terms. But time is different down here. I count time in waves, generations, civilizations. You and your kind up above are number 322. Right, Paul, 332 waves years old. So you're the one, uh, how have you survived all this time? You wish to be ageless, like me. Yeah, kinda. In truth, time passes differently in here. It would take an eternity just to explain it to you. Didn't you just explain it? Time passes differently? That's the explanation, right? All right, what happened to the rest of the Dwemer? Yeah, I guess he kind of hinted that he's the father of all Dwemer, right? What happened to the rest of the Dwemer people? It is not my place to reveal that secret to you, Dovahkiin. But when they moved on from this world, I was left behind. Can you blame them? I mean, come on. You see, the energy that has sustained me all this time, it anchored me here. I could not leave this place if I wanted ha -ha, to. Ha you're your own prisoner. Okay, that's all the questions. So I see. Now, state your purpose here. Just adventure and treasure hunting, honestly. Enough talk. It's time for you to die. I'll be going now. Let's try to persuade him. It's time to put an end to your law. Your words <laughs> are tainted by your sins, Dovahkiin. Yet, I acknowledge your heroic deeds, too. Slayer of the world, Eater. Very well. I will listen. Well, that was easy. Like you, I tried to fix what I didn't understand. I made it worse. Choose your next words carefully, Dovahkiin. What is it that you made worse? Once again, you could read my memories, right? I tried to prevent a breach of Dor's law, but in the end, I was the breach. Enough talk. Actually, your law made everything worse. I blame you. No, let's just go with the first option here. You admit to breaking my law in the future. At least this explains why you traveled back in time. How did Metalus discover time travel in the first place? How is he doing it? I was so focused on my goal that I didn't see the bigger picture like you. Enough talk. I ta had to travel back in time because you're... Oh, Alright, let's just go with the first option. I was so focused. I warn you. Tread carefully. I'm not scared of you. I'll just come back again and again and again. You've become so fixa fixated on peace and order that you've committed genocide. Yeah. Everything I have done here... Everything, Everything. has been, has been, I, I. Think of it, think it through, you know. It's not too late to end this. Well, that's, that's relative, right? It's too late for all, all the past genocides. I, I thought that if I could create peace here, create order that I could prove to the world that such a thing is possible, and they might follow. When the first of your kind disobeyed my law, I was disappointed. But I thought, if I was patient, the next wave might fare better. But that wave met the same fate, and the next wave after that. They betrayed me, and I... I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. 
But the more I failed, the more firmly I had to believe that I would be vindicated one day. But I... I... Yeah? I have suspected for a long time that day would never come. And now I see it never will. There is no place for peace and order in this world. Ah, oh, don't give up now. Yeah, there's some flaws in your plan, man. First of all, how can you lead by example if you're in a deep, dark hole? And uh, the only people that get here are pushed in a hole by uh, a Khajiit. And um, yeah, so you'll stop this? Damn, buddy, it's so bloodthirsty. Enough talk, time to die. I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to live how they choose, in whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves. I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it, and you may all return to the world of man, should you wish. But I warn you, Dovahkiin, making these changes will create a paradox in time. The events that brought you here will never have taken place. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? Will I get to keep my memories? I didn't come all this way to leave empty handed. <laughs> yeah. Then you will not leave Aww. at all. All that and then I Goodbye, had to screw it up. Dovahkiin. So now I gotta fight him. Alright. Insolence. <laughs> you have a soft head. No. Yes. Don't give him a chance to cast, guys. Oh, he's gonna cast. Impossible. Alright, cool. Can I walk on this? Oh, I can walk on this. Oh, he's got a helmet anyway. Paul Metal's Lake House uses portal again. Go back in time and show that Artemis helmet to him as proof of your deeds. Alright. This is different. Need to push? Sorry, Inigo, I'm in a rush. So, is Dwarf's Law enacted? Is that even possible? I mean, the Arbiter's dead. Who's running the machines? So, if I didn't kill him, would I have not gotten a helmet? Yeah, I'm going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to go through the persuasion option. I'm going to make sure I save, of course. Alright, guys. No fighting. Just run past everything. What is that? His stamina? Yeah, he's been down here too long. Hasn't been getting a good workout. Such sad music. So dramatic. So melancholy. Oh, I thought I heard enemies. I guess there isn't anything. So who am I going to show this helmet to? To the Jarl? Why would I care? Everyone... Lydia, Inigo, where are you? I better summon Inigo. <laughs> You okay to go? Finally, where have you I'm been? sorry, my man. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Let's go. Oh, Lady is cool. She knew, you know, she always trusts me. So is there anything different? Oh, there are enemies out here. This can't be happening. Alright, dwarves law. Got enacted yet again. Poor dude got knocked down by. I'm running the wrong way. Be careful. I'm sorry, Lydia. This way. To the lake house. Yeah, avoid the gold guys. The Dwemer automatons. Uh, too bad I can't walk on water. Yep, there they are. So, Dior. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving. Man, did Dior even get here yet? Yeah, it looks like it. Are you done? Is 
So the persu persuasion route probably would the route you're supposed to go. You must stop this. Well, you never know. Let's see what happens when I present the helmet. Take the note and go. And we're back. <laughs> Lydia's helped. Thanks, Lydia, with my one-hander. <laughs> so many jokes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Where did you come I, from? Strange. Let's just what? go through this. It's the first. Come on, Boda. I guess. Look. Don't. They are go, go, go. And if you have any questions about this. Place, All right, let's get to the Earl. The Earl, the scholar. He seems to know a lot. No, I will not talk to Earl. I know everything there is to know. I am Bill Murray in this bitch. Oh, bro, I've been meaning to ask you. Do you think it would break the dwarves' life? I um. Yes. Whatever you think. <laughs> what was she thinking? I want to know. Everybody wants to know what she was thinking. Okay, so let's see what the girl has to say now. I'm very curious about this. There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to it's I'm Boda. always exciting. He is a key to the last vacant chain. Okay, you sent me from the future. I sent you here. Yes, you did. I here's the letter here's the letter you wrote. Well it's this is my handwriting. Yes it is. This this is real. Isn't Very it? real. But that's odd. My letter makes no mention of what Okay, breaking of the dwarves law. That's I what triggered so it. So the dwarves law is yep. real after all, just as we always suspected. But you know who broke it? It was who me! Was you? But why? What did you do? Okay, I just want to see what would happen. You just... Gods! What is wrong with you? Well, it seems you've been given a second chance. I trust you won't make the same mistake again. Now, assuming you... Uh... I need you to invent... You must work out. As Jarl, I authorize you to go any I can't promise either of those things, Maybe I wasn't supposed to- Maybe I was supposed to show Brawl. And of course, if you- Now what do you say? Thank you. If it helps you, goodbye for now. Okay, maybe and it wasn't good him. luck. I, I mean, don't need to tell yeah, you yeah, yeah, what will happen if you fail. Hello again, my friend. Any word about the matter we- Of course. Just want to make sure- What do you want me to clarify? No. Okay, I was supposed to show someone the, the helmet, Lydia. Was it? Maybe it, it would make sense if it was Brawl. Let me let me look at my quest notes real quick. Oh, travel back in time and show the Arbiter's helmet to him as proof. Of, maybe I gotta go to the Arbiter again. That could be a little bit clearer. All right, let's go back to the Arbiter. You know, let me look at the Arbiter's helmet real quick. Oh man. I thought it was called Arbiter's Helmet. Alright, I only got three head slots. Arbiter's... Oh, the Arbiter's Helmet. Allows the wearer to cast continuous shock spells effortlessly, but the power is blinding. Oh, that's cool. Alright, Arbiter, I'm coming for you. What if I could skip all this by jumping? Strange energy radiates around me. Alright, we jumping. Yoop! Hehe, <laughs> hacks, baby. Now, where's the door right here huh. maybe this is the true ending maybe there is no persuasion all right I'm back ah and here you are of course all right we're gonna skip the stuff to we already me, read your memories and what's this I see there is a helmet in your possession. It does not belong to you. It's... It's your helmet. I'm going to take it from you after I kill you. You... kill me? That is not possible. And yet... I see you speak the truth. You have come unstuck from your own time. Your presence here is unnatural. Well then, Dovahkiin, why have you returned with this grim trophy? Have you come simply to gloat of your foul deed? I want you to put a stop to the dwarves' law. Do you comprehend what you are asking me to do? 
You... you are asking me to abandon millennia of work. The very thought of it aggrieves me. And yet, you have left me with no choice, have you? If I agree, I will destroy my life's work. But if I refuse, you will destroy me. Welcome to a rock and a hard place. Well played, Dovahkiin. You will have your wish. Okay, I get it now. So, if you were able to persuade him, you end the mod probably and see the ending. But you don't get the helmet, maybe. But this option, what I'm doing right now, is probably for those who don't have persuasion uh, at a high level. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Alright, so you'll stop all this? I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to yeah. live how they Same choose dialogue here. in whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves. I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it. And you may all return to the world of man, should you wish. Alright, very cool. But I warn you, Dovahkiin, making these changes will create a paradox in time. The events that brought you here will never have taken place. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of here. Goodbye, Dovahkiin. Goodbye, Arbiter. Nice to meet you. Sorry I took your head. Someone's chipping away at something. All right, we're back. Woo! Lydia, Indigo, you guys here? Ah, there you are. I thought I had lost you. Don't worry, Lydia. No matter timeline or whatever, I will always find you. Okay, this is different. Hey, it's Altrius. Hey, you startled me there. Wait, I know you. You do? You're... No, that can't be right. For a moment there, I thought you were... You know, the one the statue was meant to honor. There's a statue of me? I, I, to, I can't see yet. Alright, you're Altrius. Your sister asked me to find you. Cassia! Oh, I completely forgot. I asked her to wait for me at the top of the lift and... I guess I got so tied up in this place that I lost track of time. I'd better head back up and let her know I'm all right. Hey, um, do you want to come with me? We can chat along the way. Yeah. But wait a minute, you had a lift? I had a hole that a, a Khajiit pushed me through. That's not fair. All right, lead the way. Great. Follow me. I want to see my statue. Let's run back up, shall oh. we? Oh. Don't want to keep my sister. Oh, I guess I am looking like that. So... You're probably wondering what I've been doing down here. I guess it's been, what, a few days? Oh. I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city. And the history of this place is amazing. Thriving city? Did you know that up until about seven years ago, they had what they called the Dwarves Law? Apparently, there were inscriptions warning that if one person committed a crime, everyone else would pay for it. But they were all trapped in the city with no way out, so they lived in fear that someone would break the law and get them all killed. Then, one day, a strange man appeared in the city out of nowhere. They say he just walked out of the lake house, like he owned the place. That's Jormund. And he wore this spectacular dwarven armor. A lot like the armor you're wearing now, actually. And a few people saw him walk into this quarry, into a field of deadly radiation, like it was nothing, like it hadn't killed people before him. And then, the ground started shaking, and golden statues were collapsing, and inscriptions were crumbling all over the city, all at the same time. What happened to the Jarl? The sun under the ground, which used to light up the entire cavern, bursts into flame and explodes. And strangest of all, the cavern roof opens up like the petals of a flower. And there's real sunlight for the first time in thousands of years. So of course, people start wondering, 
Did he just walk down here and single-handedly dismantle whatever was keeping the dwarves locked? I want going? to talk to these people. Who was he? Was he still alive? Yes. So Bro, the local scholar, goes down into the quarry to take a look. But now the whole place is empty. But all the way at the bottom, sitting alone in the darkness, is a statue of the stranger. Oddest tale I ever heard. Okay. Interesting. Hey, I recognize you. You're the one who ruined this place seven years ago. I work in a bloody quarry now, thanks to you. Ha ha, you deserve it, you bastard. Have you been since the door's law was lifted? Came here to gloat, did you? Yeah, I did. Well, go on. Look at me. Working the mines like a peasant. Yep. And did you hear Sophia left me at the first chance she got? All right, good for her. you wanted to hear? Are you happy now? Get lost. Ha ha. Second me. So we don't, I want to talk to Hurman. He wasn't a bad guy. Hope he's not having a hard time. Okay, now I want to see the other ending. Yeah, I guess there's multiple endings. I want to see the other ending where um, uh, Maisie killed uh, the Jarl. And we met her with Altrius in a dark tunnel. Yeah, this is something you want. How you been since the door's love was lifted? So, you heard about that, did you? Well, I went back to my car for a bit, but there was no there for me. So I wound up back here. Still getting used to the new Yarl. But Gulver's an alright sort. Got everybody working now, which is fair. At least to get a good night's sleep. Who's holding that torch in my face? Indigo, I can see just fine, man. Human, so he didn't have many prospects outside the place, so he came back. So we um, talked Arbiter down, and um, a statue of us appeared. I wonder how that happened. I wonder if he has anything more to say. All right, let's keep going. I'm here. Who else is still in the city? I wonder what happened to the Jarl. Keep it moving. You're too slow. I'm in heavy armor, you know. Well, I guess he's in heavy armor, too. Okay. So, he said that the uh, artificial sun blew up, and the normal sunlight shone through the, sky, uh, through the top. So, there should be some change to the city. Who's this? It's Vitus. You. You're the one from the statue. I am the statue. How, how have you been? I've been well, thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I went back to Solitude to rejoin the Imperial Legion not long after the city opened up. Believe it or not, I completed three tours of duty, but then I took an arrow to the... Well, to cut a long story short, <laughs> they made me retire. So I came back here. Best city in all of Skyrim, if you ask me. Now that bloody dwarf's law is gone. You deserve a medal for what you did. Thanks, man. But this'll have to do. Here, take this. A small token of my appreciation. Hey, what are you gonna You'll give me? always be welcome here. Dwarven armor schematic. Oh, I guess I can make that. I want to see. Is it like a recipe? Dwarven um, uh, I, uh, it's not here. Uh, let's just use the filter. Dwar. All right, let's try schematic. There it is. All right. Well, it's in my inventory. Oh, he's waiting for me. Let's go. I'm waiting for you, man. <laughs> oh, a chest. Flawless diamond, don't mind if I do. Let's go. Wonder who else is around. <laughs> I'm taking this stuff. What are you gonna do, enact a door's law on me? Let there be light. Oh, wow. It really did open up. Holy crap. Atmospheres to leave. Ultras? Where'd you go? Huh. Hey, Rikus. And there's a kid. Who's kid? Malik. Hi there. Hey, who are you? You won't talk to me. All right, then. Rikus is still around. Wait. Are you wearing... Strange. You're wearing the same armor as me. I feel like we've had this conversation I mean, it's before. exactly the same. Okay, how you been? Better. Now that I know I'm not being watched anymore. Still, 
Someone has to protect this place, and that someone is me. Still raining. So you might have taken down some old dwarves or whatever. But if you start any trouble here, you're going to find yourself toe to toe with me. Ah, too bad there was no option to tell him that I killed you once before. Where do you think I- Lucian! Holy crap, how you what been? You? <laughs> He's like, what took you guys so long? Um, and he doesn't have anything new to say. Son of a bitch. I don't know what to do with you, Lucian. Maybe there's a guide or something I could find. On we go. Man, we worked hard. Hope you enjoyed your rest and relaxation out here, man. Oh, this must be the new Jarl. Go over! Uh, I remember you. You're back. After all this time. How the hell did you become Jarl? I guess you don't have to be completely literate to be Jarl. Can't complain, my friend. You know, not long after they executed Metallus. <laughs> turns out he was behind Macy's disappearance. They made me Jarl. It was a bit of a shock, to be honest. But I guess they wanted someone who wasn't at all like Metellus. Jarl Galvar. Still sounds strange to me. And I guess I have you to thank for it. If you hadn't freed us from the dwarves' laws, Ulrin could never have overthrown Metellus. So, thanks. You're welcome, I man. imagine you'll be moving on soon, but you'll always be welcome here. We even kept your chambers exactly as you left them. I give it to Dooley. I never use it anyway. Huh. Hello there, I don't friend. know. I'm talking to him again. Okay. See you around. Oh, man. I have this compulsion to look through everybody's house. I guess Orin still lives here. And it looks exactly the same. Well, you like what you like. What if Lucian made any friends up here? Is that Malik again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. Kind of want to go into Lake House. It starts Welcome everything back. over. You've been gone a long time. You know, technically, I reset the world, and we don't really know each other. Whatever. That's some beautiful armor you've got there. Thanks. How you been? Well, let's see. That was seven years ago. A lot has changed since then, for the better. I'm married to Gulvar now. Hey, good for you. Sorry, that's Jarl Gulvar. And he still has you working he the fields. He still talks about you. <laughs> and how he saw you come out of the old Jarl's lake house. You gave him a real fright. Though he wouldn't have showed it. I know he'd be happy to see you again. You should go and say hello, if you haven't already. I already did. Jeez, man, he's a tough Jarl husband, whatever. Making her work the fields. Maybe this is her thing. Maybe this is hello, her neighbor. garden. I want to check on Dooley as well, see how he's doing. It's pretty cool, pretty satisfying, I would say. Anything in the lake house. So who lives in the lake house now? Maybe it's Dooley. Maybe Dooley lives here. I still hear strange things. I can steal from this now. And eh, nothing I want. Okay. Ah, Lucien, you frightened me. I'm not used to you being here. Okay. Dooley! I don't see him here. Maybe he took Jeshul's house. I guess she still dies and everything, right? Okay. Guess he was living off mushrooms. Alright, let's keep looking around. Keep talking to people. See what else. Is. Get some more updates. No one's at Goldver's house. Look like Rikus is here. Is it Lucky? Luki? Whatever. Yeah. Have we met? Yep. How you been? Better, thank you. You know, all that time I was looking after Brandis, I remember him telling me about the ancient evil under the earth. Yeah? I really thought he was mad. But I guess he was right after all. Well, I'm glad you were able to finish what he started, whatever you did down there. So, on behalf of Brandis and Leandris, thank you. I like to think their souls are at rest now. Yeah. That's a nice thought. I hear someone running. It's Malik again. The little kid gets around. Ooh, this bastard. Mm. <laughs> is he still here? Yeah, he is. Hey, you look kind of familiar. Yeah, I do, don't I? How you been? 
Well, business has picked up now that we occasionally get visitors from the outside world. But nobody seems to want to buy my elixirs anymore. Yeah, can you blame them? Until next time. Stand right there, don't move. Bad eyes. You will not live to regret that. My cool. One less to worry about. Last witness dead. <laughs> I'll be taking that. What do you got in your chest? Oh, this is his inventory. He's got nothing for me, man. I'll take your lockpicks. Just desserts, biatch. Oh, no, Lucian again. All right. Oh, you saw you, you saw nothing. I'll buy these pots for you if you keep silent. Hi there. Hey. She agrees. The Firefly Finery. How would these guys do it? Those old husband and wife combo, right? Hello there. Wait. Are you who I think you are? I am indeed. How you been? Much better, thanks. This place has really turned around. Miranda and I were finally able to have another son. He's probably around here. Oh, so that's where Melly came from. And now that the city has opened up, we have a bit of trade. So the store is doing much better too. I'd imagine so. And if you really are who I think you are, then I have to thank you for it. So, thank you. You did a great thing. For all of us. Job well done, Buddha. See you again soon. All uh, right. I hope. Who else we got? There's one more store, right? Vernon! See how Vernon's doing. Hey. Hey, aren't you? Oh my gods, it's you! Ah, you've returned. How long has it been? Seven years. You're the one who brought about the end of the dwarves' law. Thank you. Yeah. So how you been? Wonderful, actually. Gaia and I are still researching this place, of course. But now we get to share our research with the outside world. Excellent. But I must ask, what happened down there, under the city? What did you do? I talked to a really crazy guy. I met a, dwar uh, a dwemer called the Arbiter and convinced him to lift the dwarves' law. You convinced him, you say? Well, if it is as you say, you must be terrifyingly persuasive. I only wish I could have been there to see it. I can see that you have somewhere else to be. But perhaps one day when you have the time, you'll let me record your story in my journal for posterity. Sure, man. Cool. All right, let's talk to Vernon. See how he's doing. Vernon! Oh, maybe he moved on. Yeah. Or he could be at the tavern or something. Alright, let's look in the tavern. I wonder if Raisha is still around here. I don't know, her menu sort of uh, opened up now, hasn't it? Why would she stick around? Oh, yep, there she is right there. Hey, it's been a long time between drinks. You really said the rumor most spinning last time you were here. You haven't aged a day. How you been? I've been great. Especially after that Pigmentellus got what was coming to him. Did you hear Ulrin and Maisie left together not long afterwards? Can't say I blame them. If I were Maisie locked up in the Jarl's secret prison like that, I'd be wanting to get far away from here too. And Marius, that creepy Imperial, turned out to be a member of the Dark Brotherhood named Quintus. But he slithered away without causing any trouble. Other than that, we're all a little older and wiser. But you? You don't look like you've aged a day in the last seven years. Back at you. You must tell me your secret over a mug of fine moonshine one day. A mug of moonshine? Good God, woman. Your liver. Come and visit me again anytime you like. That's too bad. I want to talk to Maisie and Oren. Especially Maisie. I wonder how she'd react. Alright, moving on. You know what? I wonder if we'll find Dooley and Jeshul's house. That could be pretty neat. I looked at all the houses down here. I talked to everyone there was to talk to. There's Brawl, there's Luki. Oh, there he is right there. There's Dooley. Hey, Dooley. Oh, hello. Do you like my fancy new clothes? Yeah, they look good on you. How you been? You mean... There's Vernon. After the sky opened up and the old y'all died, 
and we got a new yard. Yard girl that is nice. He gave me a house and and these new clothes. Well, I hope you're pitching, you know, pitching in around here, man. Well, good. To, I'm glad that you're doing bye, good. Bye. All right, so Vernon next to. Wait, aren't you? Yes, it is you. You oui. came back. We oui, say more. All this time. How you oh, been? Hello there. <laughs> Great. Bron and I are still working together toward a better understanding of the dwarves. But personally, I think the greatest mystery in this place is you. I am quite mysterious. I mean, you showed up seven years ago out of the lake house <laughs> and charged down into the tunnels like a knight in shining armor. Then the city transforms around us and you're just gone. So I have to ask, where have you been all this time? Eh, here and there. I traveled forward in time by seven years. It's a long story. You're a time traveler? Incredible. Incredible. I suppose that explains your sudden appearance as well. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. <laughs> I have to write all this down. Now, where did I leave my research note? Okay. I uh, really look at that happy face. Oh, it's you. I didn't think we'd ever see you again. How you been? Oh, so much better. And thank you for whatever you did down there under the city. You know what? I don't even want to know. I had a conversation. Everyone's a bit more relaxed, including poor Rikus. He and I... <laughs> well, we're seeing each other. <laughs> Turns out, he's a beautiful man once you get to know him. You know, it's great to see you again. I know you'll be off on your next adventure soon. Still, you'll always be welcome here, my friend. <laughs> Vernon Rikis. Okay, cool. Come back soon. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, I find that so hilarious. <laughs> hey. City guard. All hail the dragonborn. Oh, he knows who I am. All right, then. If I wanted to leave, I guess I would probably go through there. Alright, so I guess the last thing we gotta check would be the Citadel itself. I wonder if the Jarl's daughter's still here. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick run through of this place. This place is quite huge, don't you know? Oh, who's this? Sato! <gasps> Wait a minute, that's the deaf guy, right? Hello. Is someone there? Have you brought me something to eat? Oh, he's completely blind now. Oh, looks like he's being taken care of. That's good. Okay, I wonder if the cook is still here. I'm curious about the crack in the bathroom wall. Another city guard. Quintus is no longer here. Metellus Quintus, this was his room. Alright, second floor. Okay, start from the back. Let's open this door. Nobody's home. Next up. Oh, Lucien again. Gotta get used to his presence. Alright, looks like the crack is still... No, this is in the bathroom. Alright, nobody in here. What's the hurry? I want to see what everyone has to say, Lydia. I'm excited. Oh, the cook is still here. So, how you doing with your um habit? Hi there. Hmm. Do I know you? Why, you surely do. How you been, darling? Better. Mostly. Problem is, I know I can get skooma now, so I have to keep myself from heading up to the surface. But life's better in the Citadel without that old bastard, Metellus. I get to make food for the whole city now, so nobody's going hungry anymore. Wouldn't you be more comfortable if you relocated to the tavern? Bye. They got a lot more room. Although you do have a lot of room. Maybe it's, maybe it's the sink. Maybe the, those are hard to come by. God bless you. Okay, we got a third floor and another room here. Don't remember who... Oh, this was Domitus' room. Nobody here. Okay, going up. Yeah, I really wanted to talk to Aura and Maisie. I want to apologize to Maisie for leaving her there. They still keep this locked up. They keep this locked too. 
That'd be funny if Maisie was still here. Seven years later. We couldn't find the key! <laughs> Alright, here's the bathroom. Okay. Nothing here. This was the Yarl's daughter's room. She's not here. Ah! Stupid door. And now the Yarl's room is good. Oh, who's this? Guard is chilling. Yeah. Alright then, we're gonna quit take the quick way down. I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone, so that's cool. Got some nice little wrap-ups here. Be nice if I could just bump into Aura and the Maisie somewhere, though. Alright, so I guess we're gonna exit. This is the way out. You wish you could do that, huh? How do we get out of the hole? <laughs> or, do, or do we have to fast travel out? Or maybe there's another way out. Maybe they built an exit out. I just didn't see it. Yeah, this is the hole that you pushed me down, Indigo. Hope you, oh, there's a lift now. All right, I guess that's it. Let's get out of here. I guess we could talk to um, Ultrius' sister, Catlia, the one who gave us the letter to... Hey, there she is. Cassia. Talk to me, lady. That is a lift. She's busy. Talk to me! Or does that just complete it? I saw a quest update. What was that? Yeah, that's it. The Forgotten City. We're done. Come on, Katlia. Cassia. Can't read that. Skeever. I have a feeling that she's supposed to say something to me, but she's busy. I am not going back down. Huh. I'm gonna zone out and zone back and see what happens. I mean, we are done. We got a conclusion. Oh, door opened for me. She's still on her knees. Mm. A message from developer Nick Pierce. I hope you enjoyed The Forgotten City. I'd love to know what you thought of it, so please get in touch. You can find me here. P.S. The Forgotten City has multiple endings. If you're not happy with the one you got, try... Um, I'm guessing it's going to say again. But I think we got the multiple endings. Okay, so we got the ones where we killed people in the tunnel. The do uh, Dooley didn't do anything. The... Uh, the uh, the Maisie ending, the one where he killed him, took his head, and came back ending. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Original orchestra score by Trent Moriarty. Cast, one of two. These are people. And these are the people. Thank you so much for your contribution, guys. You did a good job. Good voice acting. I enjoyed it. All right, let's go. And thus concludes the Forgotten City. So thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I enjoyed this mod. I had a lot of fun. Nice little intrigue, mysteries, and all that. Yeah, multiple endings. Wow, this mod author really gives you a lot. So that was really cool. He did this all for free. But although, technically, it led to some really good developments for him. He did uh, make his own standalone game, also entitled The Forgotten City. So you guys might want to check that out if you thought this mod was pretty cool. So guys, thank you for your support. I love you. Lucien is happy to see us. I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to head back to the museum.